Hello my happy girlies, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me again. And if you're new here, hi my name is Komal and in my channel you will see me making curly hair care videos, lifestyle vlogs, travel vlogs and some fun vlogs as well. And in today's video you must have already guessed after looking my outfit, yes. Today's video is how to preserve your curls while sleeping at night. So I will be showing you uh, different ways how I protect my curls and there are some other ways which I do not follow but you can follow if it is comfortable for you. So I have four different things. One is this silk towel, silk cap, satin scarf and a microfiber buff. I know it is so frustrating if you have such a good wash day and you had beautiful curls but when you sleep and the next day when you see the frizz and that uncurled unpatterned curls I know I know that pain how it feels so to have a good hair day throughout the week as well you need to preserve your curls at night as well and it will not only extend your wash day but it will also help you to minimize the frizz and breakage as well so without further ado let's dive right into the video so starting from very first step is you need to make a ponytail or i would say you need to make a pineapple on top of your head so i'll show you first how to do that for that you would need scrunchy like this or if you have invisible you can use that as well I would suggest you to not to use uh, rubber bands like these ones or this one because they are very thin and, uh, and your hair might get stuck to these rubber bands. So I would prefer either the scrunchy or invisible. I'll show you how to do pineapple. So for this, gently you need to take all of your hair like this. You will be not stretching your all hair gently you will just pull out all your hair um, at the top of your head and now with the help of this scrunchie just to make a knot like this just once because we do not want any bend on our curls that's why and our purpose is to just take all the curls away from our back of the head so that the hair doesn't struggle between your head and your pillow the very first thing is you need a silk pillow or satin pillow and by making such pineapple if you sleep like this your all hair will fall upwards that means your hair will not touch your face and it will all fall upwards and hence your curl will all be saved and the only part that will be um, that will be touched to the pillow will be your backside and in the morning when you will open up your curls the curls that you show actually are these ones and these will not be touched and will not be get frizzed next is so the next one is with this satin scarf this is 90 into 90 centimeter for this I will again make pineapple but this time I will for this I will make again pineapple but this time I will use this invisible I'll show you how to use this so again like we did the earlier pineapple we'll do the same but instead of scrunchy we'll use this one like this see my all hair is this side I have this 90 into 90 centimeter scarf I'll make a triangle out of it like this taking the both ends I'll take this at the end of my this side and with these two I'll make a knot like this so if you don't have any uh, like if you have small hair you can leave it like this as well and sleep on your pillow 
but if you have long hair what you can do is you have done one knot on this side and then take it to the back and make another knot so I have done two knots to secure this so now this is all done now what to do with this part I'll take my hair now I'll take all this hair and push it inside I'll twist this part I'll twist this part and I'll try to put inside this knot just to make secure you can do it second time as well so as you can see it's all protected or I would prefer you to um, keep your scarf on top of your ear if you put out your ear then there are very high chances that your scarf will slip out at night so I would suggest you to cover it all the way down like this I'll show you the end as well another one is this silk cap but I would prefer this for very short hair because for me as well I can't use this because it has very less space as you can see like here downwards you can see it has very less space so whenever I try to use this what happened is my curls were all pressed and because it's very tight to me and not um, not at the circumferences but but because it has very less space inside so my curl what used to happen was my curls used to get pressed and my all curl pattern was just flattened just if you have very short curls and you don't have any problem then you can go with this one because I like the way it is designed it has two knots at the end as well as it has elastic which means it will not give you any pain or any stress while putting this if you use any other uh, silk cap or any other sleeping cap usually what they have is they have elastic which gives pain over here because it's too tight to your head uh, but it doesn't have anything over here it have just two inch of elastic at the end so that it fits you very well and you can just put a knot to secure it so I would prefer this to a short hair um, person okay the next is this buff the fabric is microfiber how to wear this I'll show you just make pineapple like this and then you just take down this buff all the way down and from here Now while sleeping your all hair will be protected if you want to if you have long hair like this and you want do not want your all hair to be outside the buff what you can do is just take the hair and push it back like this push it back like this and then you can put a small rubber band or a small clip to just secure this so whenever I sleep with my buff, I take out my hair like this because I do not want it to get inside and get pressed because of that uh, stress. So I usually keep it like this and I sleep tightly like this. So you can see the buff protects your hair even on this side, the back of your head. And whatever I wear, I, as I told you, I prefer it to be on top of my ear as well so that it doesn't slip off. But for buff, if you keep it above your ear, it will obviously get slippery and it will get off and it might come around here. It will not go all the way, but it will come off till here. So another plus point of buff is you can use this while gymming as well. While doing morning exercise as well, I use this buff to protect my curls. I, what I do is I make half pineapple and then I put buff on it so that I do not have frizz. So it can use in many ways. If you are traveling and you do not want um, your hair to touch with your car seat or any other seat, then you can just put on your buff and you're good to go. 
so yeah it is one of the cheapest option as well uh, out of all of these this one was my cheapest option as well so if you are a beginner i would suggest you to go for this first uh, rather than investing a lot of money in other things so go slowly and steadily i'll also show you how to take out that invisible bubble for this you have to just put your two fingers on this side and two fingers on this side and just do it like that without giving stress to your hair you can take out your oil hair all over that so this is the benefit of invisible like you can stretch it as much as can and or without stretching your hair or pulling your hair you can just take out this so that's why it is preferable so the last and my favorite and that i do every day is this one I'll show you how to make pineapple bun or you can also say half pineapple. So same way taking all here making a knot. This time we'll make a second knot as well. Like this, but we will not pull out all the hair. We'll just make it half way. Like till here and I'll leave the rubber band. So you can see I have a bun at my top and all my ends are secured this side so by this way what you are doing is you are securing these these curls as well and your ends as well right so this is your pineapple bun and this is my silk turban so i'll show you how to wear this i make a bun and then I place it inside the turban and then gently with my one hand I put my one hand here so that I do not make frizz I we have the main purpose of wearing all these things is just to minimize the frizz if while wearing these as well if we are making frizz or anything then there is no sense right so what I do is um i keep my hand over my back head like this and then i pull this turban so as you can see this turban is having so much space inside um by the way this is large size there are different sizes in silk turban there are small there is medium there is large depending upon your uh, hair length and volume you will choose but i didn't want to take it so i went for the large one as well so luckily um the circumference of the turban uh, fitted me and the space that i had in my silk turban uh, is perfectly perfect for my hair and you can see this is how i wear it and this turban is not having any elastic over here there is just a uh, one inch of elastic at the end so that i can um stretch it while wearing this turban and for this turban also i wear over my ear so that it doesn't slip off so this one is the my most preferred and my go to way So yeah these were some easy ways to preserve your curls and extend your wash days minimize the frizz the breakage as well protecting your curls while sleeping at night is very important most of the time we are not aware that the normal pillow cases that we are using are of cotton fabric and cotton fabric usually not only for curly hair but for other hair as well um increases the friction which means it increases the frizziness in your hair that's the reason normal uh, normal hair people and even the curly hair people uh, face frizz on daily basis so to avoid that you need to switch to either silk pillow cases or a satin pillow cases whichever is uh, feasible to you and other than that for curly hair as i have suggested these few ways you can preserve your curls and rock your day if you like this video please give a thumbs up 
and subscribe to my channel and also comment down if you're facing any of the problem or any of the method that you like or you you didn't knew earlier so yes i'm here to help my curly fellows if you have any any questions please feel free to ask me uh, whether by commenting down below or directly dm me on my instagram that's it for today see you next time bye